Hello and welcome, I'm Fabio Benvenuti, proprietor of EasyDive. Today, with great pleasure, I introduce this immense 9000 lumen LED lighting kit. The great advantage in this lighting system is exactly how much power we get of its minimum size and weight. Up to today, having these powers of illumination has been inconceivable with such a small compact battery pack of this size. The actual light head features a large heatsink made from anti-corrode aluminium that unlike most sub-aqua lights, which function as a flat lens, losing out in light beam range, we have included a spherical lens designed to lengthen the light dramatically, extending vision to three times the visual depth. Additionally, we have inserted a particularly clever film inside the lens, acting for extra enhancement of the light's high-intensity discharge, which functions as a nice, even, bright light. The light head enables 120 degrees as a diffusion angle without, however, having to worry about sacrificing brightness. On the back, the power switch is found with magnetic contact command to remain adequately waterproof. Lighting power is adjustable at three brightness levels. Firstly, at 30%, having approximately three hours burn time, 70% lasting around one and a half hours, and 100% setting, allowing to access 50 minutes of solid intense beam. The connection plug with quick coupling, connecting the light head and battery pack is a wet seal type. Though, in any case, connection and disconnection is carried out upon the surface. What the battery pack contains are LFP batteries, which contrary to LIION or LIPOLY types, aren't characterized as explosion batteries, and whether in charge or discharge, are non-heat generating and do not consequently emit gas. The connector serves to join both the light head and the battery charger. Recharging is achieved with great speed and can last between two to three hours depending on battery pack status. Within the battery pack, a circuit board has been placed to monitor and protect the battery cells. This device not only prevents the battery cells from damage due to overcharging, but also keeps a balance in the charge and discharge over each of the cells, meaning all of the light's features can be exploited equally. Likewise, two circuit boards can be found inside the light head. One serving for the power commands and dimmer operation in the three positions, 30, 70 and 100%, while the other is there to maintain efficiency of the constant LED for each of the light settings. The best performance in power and for duration is achieved with the level of dimmer set as default under housing. However, it is also possible on the management software program to personalize these three brightness applications to be suited for the customer's own special requirements. The canister itself is made from Derling, which is a polymer type plastic and has two O-rings of radial seal, while inside the interior is completely replenished in resin, so rendering it absolutely impossible for any kind of water or humidity to penetrate. Here, at the top of the canister, we can find an interlocking swallowtail juncture that has been designed to be compatible with all of the connecting bracket types that we produce, apprehended by the Leo Housing Company, and which also lets the battery pack be inserted and removed extremely quickly. Besides this sliding connection facility are two M6 ports, so that the canister can also be enabled to adapting to non-easy dive containers or brackets, as well as practically anything else you would want to clip on there. Using this kit is truly very simple, but as for all appliances that may come into direct contact with water, it is important to observe some precaution. Most importantly, for each use, check that the contacts and connecting parts are all in perfect working condition, therefore not subjected to electrolysis. This process is avoided by cleaning contacts thoroughly at the end of each LED power kit use. Using specific products for cleaning electrical contacts from time to time is certainly recommendable, whether for the canister or light head cable. Connecting is a fast and simple thing to do. Once the connector has been completely inserted, the connection is waterproof. However, we've added a protector that screws onto the thread of the connectors found on the canister too, just for extra security. This plastic material protection gives the positive assurance in eliminating the possibility of danger from accidental tugging to the connector, and so of any disconnections of the light head. 
Once having exited the water, remove the protection, disconnect the cable and always take extra good care to dry all of the contacts before finally connecting up to the battery charger. To prevent any problems from occurring during recharging, it is advisable that the charger is firstly connected to the canister and then connecting the power switch cable to the power point. Then vice versa when recharging has complete and the battery indicator is showing a steady green. Now by unplugging first the cable from the power point and disconnecting the battery charger from the canister shortly after. For the care and maintenance of the light head, rinse abundantly in fresh water soon after immersion so as to prevent any formation of salt crystals, especially on the control knob for the on power switch to keep out sand or anything else you don't want in there. Here, between the aluminium parts of the head and the off switch, it is also to good purpose to occasionally spray using products especially for cleaning contacts too, or with lubricant, while ensuring that there is a free, easy movement. Contrasting LED power to 75 watt HID in camera obscura, we have verified that our kit allows the use of a more enclosed diaphragm, either for the absolute advantage of depth in the field or suited to a less gain or ISO use. Moreover, we have verified our light to consist of an illuminating diffusion and homogeneity superior over any other traditional HID, thanks to the absence of a trajectory inevitably non-excelling to guarantee the perfect beam uniformity and light volume in the same way. Another benefit is that it also eliminates a regular failure point on HID lights, that is, they feature large electrodes in the bulbs which generate hot spots or a cone of shade. Apart from the HID bulb taking more time to light up to its maximum brightness and best quality of color temperature, they are also made to last not as long as the LED type bulbs. Our illumination system presents us with a nice easy beam and a difference in output between beam center and the edge of a rat at around 5%. LEDs can be switched on or turned off as often as we wish to, as on the contrary often happens with HID bulb versions. The LED power kit is great for who's looking for maximum power with the least impediment and its high intensity discharge matches a 500 watt halogen light together with a 3 setting dimmer. The compact of the battery pack is light and truly durable. The beam angle of 120 degrees with power and homogeneity are suited to satisfy the needs of the best of professionals.